Discord's context menus have changed quite a lot since they were announced back in 2021. And so here's how you can make it in discord.py. And here's what we're going to be making today. And without further ado, let's get straight into the video. And what I'm going to start off by doing is in my bot.ready. And by the way, this is discord.py. So make sure you have the proper version. There should be the uh, pip install command down below if you want to install it again, just to make sure. What we're going to start off by doing is we're going to try to do something like sync equals await bot dot tree dot sync. And basically what this is going to do is this is going to sync all of our commands that we have or all the changes that we do into the bot. And this is probably not the best way to do it inside the on ready command or on ready event. But this is just a tutorial just to get you started with it. So there you go. And what we're going to do is we're going to do synced. You can do something like len synced commands, right? And then we're going to do accept. And then exception as E. And then print just E. There we go. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move on to the actual context menu. And it's pretty simple and similar to how slash commands work. So we're going to do at bot dot tree dot context menu then over here we can put in a name so i'm going to call this resend and what this one's going to do is it's going to reset a message so if we do async def and we can call this one also resend and now these take in arguments so the first argument that it takes in is interaction because these are classified as interactions and the second one is message so we can just do it as and then it'll equal discord.message and what we want to do is we just want to send this again so we can do await interaction that response that send underscore message and we can leave it at this right message content but we're going to change it up a bit so we're going to do we're going to first f string this and then put some brackets around it and use two toady keys to make it into like the code type thing. And then we're going to say, like, we're going to tell them who it was resent by. So the way we can do that is saying resent by, and then we can just do interaction.user. There we go. And now that's literally it for this one. But there are multiple arguments that we can use over here. And so I'll show you the next one. So another one that we can use is discord.member. And so it works pretty much the same. So if we copy this, we can do is this one's going to be called who this. And then over here, we're going to have member equals. And it's going to be discord.member instead. And then I can even change this to who this. And now that we have that, basically, I'm just going to create a really quick embed. And it's going to just send essentially like a user info embed. All right, so I had this on my side and I just copied and pasted it. Now, by no means does this look good, right? And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set inline into false. But this is just to show you what you can do with it, right? This will look absolutely horrendous. I'm telling you right now. So, yeah, but essentially what it does is it gives us the, I guess, their discriminator, their user. It's going to give us the ID. And then when they join Discord, all the roles that they have or the role names and then we can do i guess role.name for role in i guess role.mention even would work i feel like that look a bit better and then we can do badges right so i guess what badges they have and then we can do with their activity or their current activity so whether they are on do not disturb online and whatever and then lastly we're just going to set their avatar url and so we can just send this right by doing await traction dot response send underscore message. And now that we have that, what we can do is, and I might even make this an imperial message. So only the user can see it. And now that what we're going to do is we're actually going to just go ahead and run this. 
quite active actually and so what we're gonna do is we can actually see that drone is online right and so if i were to do help nothing should show up right and this is a different bot don't worry about that but over here you see nothing shows up because we actually use a context menu right so nothing should show up over here but let's say oh, i'm sending a message right and somebody sends a really good message that i feel like everybody should do right which is subscribe to glow stick right and you're like okay i want to i want to send this too well just go ahead click right click and over here there's apps and over here we have our resend click that and it says subscribe to glow stick resend by me <laughs> i can do this on anything right even if a bot sends it apps resend there you go i just resent it it looks a bit weird right because it's i guess in this format of a code block but it still works uh, if i want to say join the discord right resend it you get how this works and it says it's resent by me so now that we have that done we one you might have noticed that we don't have our who this right we don't see it but for that we actually need to select a member for that so if i were to right click myself right well i guess that's a bit lower <laughs> you would see that i have the who this when i right click somebody if i were to right click this bot you'd see it comes up i can right click the server booster over here thanks for boosting right so on so what i'm going to do is i'm going to right click this person and i'm just going to do who this and you can see a lot of stuff about them so here this is their avatar they have uh, you know a profile picture uh this is their id this one they join discord right and you can see that it matches up with what discord says right here and then these are the roles right um and then the badges hype squad bravery and active developer and then they're not doing an activity right now i can even do myself right so if i do here who this you'll see that it shows up for me hype squad bravery active developer which all match up and i have a lot more roles and so yeah i can do whoever i want right <laughs> you can see my very cool profile picture here and that's basically it, right that's how you can make a context menu in discord.py uh, let me know down below in the comments how you thought of it and what cool things that you're planning to do and a couple of ideas is you can even make like a system where it essentially reports a message to moderators by right clicking it click report message and there you go those are just that's just an idea but let me know what you think and as always glow stick out see ya